Another uh, football manager fantast, and welcome to my lower league management series here with Geisley, the Lions Roar, and this is season three of uh, this series, and we have made some transfer for this season, and I hope I don't know, I don't know if I should say, but I think the team is good enough to at least get the tenth place, <laughs> but still I'm worried. And uh, so we let, wa did we? Okay, we let Walters go. I did not remember that, but yeah, he was. We let him go for 1,000 uh, euro there. Uh, Pearson, we let go to Brackley as well. He's not been that great. And then Tommy Hussein, he is decent, but I think he needs the game time and he's probably not going to get it here, so. I decided to just let him go to Stanley Bridge. Okay, and then we signed uh, first of the... It was on a uh, free transfer. We signed Anton Rodgers, uh, Irish central midfield. I'm kind of regretting this after a while because it doesn't say that he's any, uh, or has all, only two stars, but when I saw that he has actually played higher up, like League 1 and League 2, I was just, oh, he has experience, but I thought he would be better, but unfortunately he isn't. So Harrison Solna we have as well here, a new striker. He's only 18 years old. He is from... Yeah, he, uh, he um, got released by Aston Villa. He looks... Really, really good there. Uh, dribbling, finishing. Okay, it's mental. It's not that great, but physically and technically, ha he has everything a striker need. And then we have your your George. Uh, what a weird spelling of George. George Affieri from Huddersfield. Uh, they just let him go there. Is good uh, mental and good uh, physicals. He's only 18 years old as well and says that right now that he's better than uh, every single other right back. And we need a right back, so yeah. J James Johnson, he's definitely superb for this level. He is played in uh, Solfer. Oh, I guess he's not played that many matches, but. Still, six matches in League Two and 40 matches in Vanarama National. So I think he's definitely. Oh, I just say that's free start, but he has potential afterwards. So he's loaned in for from Salford. Neil Brookwell. We did not get this other youth play we had. Pros, pros, or youth play. I mean the loan in. Defensive midfielder we have a uh, proster whatever he was called so uh, instead we get Brookwell that is a uh, Youth play from Liverpool That's really good mentals and really good physicals Technically, it's not too bad With tackling and passing marking could be better, but he's great possession. So He could be really superb and then we have Teddy Bloor from uh, Mansfield that I know Luludia has as well. He's been loaned out two seasons to both uh, Naniton and then Slau. Uh, so now we... He's actually just going to be second choice there between... Uh, behind uh, Alfieri. George Alfieri. And then we have Charlie Winfield. That's really good pace. He's just... Oh no, no, he was the other side, right? My Cliff Moyo. I let Cliff Moyo go as well, his contract went out. So he's from Barnsley, loaned in. Tom Bell, I believe my youth developer or whatever, or if it was my 
the chairman that took in this he is okay i guess but not superb i wouldn't have got him in but he's 18 years old so why not i guess and then we have lawler two stars but i decided anyway he's on a non-contract so that's why we took him in anyway just because if we get the injuries or if the other uh, defensive central defenders are not as good he's going to get some game time and we have tom collins is a new is uh, good aerial good handling good reflexes and pretty low electricity there mentals maybe not the best but i mean most of us and mitch allen is probably going to be second choice and then yo green there so yeah i don't know if i showed you release baby yeah cliff moyo wielding and coffee and then we have one place that that might come in uh, max thompson but i'm not sure uh, because we go over the budget if we sign them and that's two preseason i would say that i'm pretty happy with the preseason after all so brand four we stood up pretty good here for free i mean they were the better team but goal wise we were decent and scoring three goals on uh, four shots there that's not too bad and this is mostly a team that was not too great and uh, Huddersfield we actually managed to get, take a draw and then lose 2 nil against not Nottingham Forest under 23s and the Leeds the Leeds match was again pre okay we did not create that much but that's that so today we meet Tamsworth and I've seen also which is pretty interesting we are going to in the first matches it's just teams that actually are expected to be uh, uh, to be uh, bottom teams so I think we have a good chance to win here I'm just going to show you here we are expected H we were around 10th there yeah if it seems like all like 11 teams can get promoted a Hereford is the big favorite but everyone else is just even so yeah we are going to attempt for this at home we're going to go with this and those two are best at fullback so we'll go with collins afiri uh leons and oh i forgot will avion i have loaned him for this season as well i mean he did not do that great last season but still he he's the best one <laughs> So far, so we have not really find anyone else there. Brookwell, Hatfield on the right there. Um, Harvey, Alex Ray Harvey there. Uh, Daesh, Huggins and Solna. And then I have bring up as well Jack, Jake Jung. And he's actually done decent. Fortunately, he's just two stars. So I really know. Morrison might actually play more as a striker this season so on the bench we have Mitch Allen, Heaton, Hudson, uh, Tom Elliott and Lee Bird. I saw that Lee Bird is actually not as great now but he was top, uh, top player last season so I feel like it just makes no sense if I let him go my top scorer here tony east still has one star so <laughs> we might even just now just check out when would be the next one two three four five six seven eight yeah altringham i think that would be good so yeah we're playing against a lot of uh, promote uh, or promoted from the lower tier teams or yes me table teams or button teams so don't be surprised if we actually start off really good but we might just drop down when we meet the top teams so yeah i'm going to go with this again this um four one three two <laughs> isometric system 
and see how that's going to work. It worked, as you can see there in the preseason, it's worked decently. Even if the <laughs> Mozilla's meet way, way better team or just awful team just to get some morale boost. But I feel <sighs> decent. I said that we would go up this season when I started this. Well, it's not going to plan, so we have to probably... I mean, you never know. We, we might just surprise everyone. It might be that... I don't think that we have a good team, but it might be that we have actually have a good enough team, or at least to get to the playoffs, so... Since all the players get older and such, and more experience... Hatfield, Jonas, Harvey, Daesh, Blocked. So, corner after just one minute here. Hatfield, Leons, oh. Donald. Oh, I need, don't need match that twice there. So, yeah, I. If we go to playoff, I'm more than happiest. Because they still, the board they just expect mid table. And uh, the players was also so freaking annoyed when I said, Oh, we should try to go for a top place. No, that was unrealistic or whatever. Oh, no, offside. How? I don't, I don't understand really how it is. Offside on corners, how that? Then is it's not him that is? I, I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, yes, I understand offsides either, but it's, I'm pretty sure that it can't be that on long throws. But it can be that on. I guess free kick makes sense, but it seems bizarre that it can be that on corners. Feel free to tell me how this works, even. I know I read somewhere, I believe it was, maybe, oh, Huggins, Guns, um, I believe it was, maybe, South, South Africa, the uh, World Cup, where they were, uh, like, in the newspaper, they just showed, oh, that's why it's offside, or where, I believe it was the Netherlands, it was, some player in the Netherlands, well, Mr. Roy, or I can't remember, or Van Persie, whoever it was, and then was offside on a free kick. But I don't really understand how that actually works. It's just so confusing. Let's go more positive, because we have had the most on match, but unfortunately not clear the chances. Harvey, oh, great. Your goalkeeper has done it pretty good, I must say, though. Let's go to a more standard approach. Work the ball into box. And be more expressive. And I actually dropped down Jack Thomas because he's just, unfortunately, it's not developed that much. He, he might get his chances now and then since he's still a free kick specialist or whatever. But Breck we uh, or was it, what was it called Breckwill? Ah, oh great save there, Collins. He shows right, right in the first match. That is super keeper. We well, actually have three stars though. I'm pretty sure that we still don't have any. Like, I believe I said in the last episode that we ha had like two. Players that were four stars. So unfortunately, I think it's still list two players that's four stars. So, so Lena, oh, it's just he's compulsory. <laughs> I mean, his star uh, striker strat or was I believe I had fourteen, f fifteen on uh, dribbling. So it's like oh, it's just his <laughs> mental that is just woeful. But so far, not too bad. Can we... Hatfield? Oh. Many chances, but not... Or, I guess, four on target, but still. I want to... 
<laughs> I want to see more. More. Better chances. It's been just too much that has been outside of the post here. And mm, still have the possessioning, but mm, I don't really know. It's not super impressive. And uh, Solna, then, then I'm going to use Liebbird as a target man there. And what else do we have? We Luke Leon's have not been great, but I'm going to bring out Harvey because I feel like it's not as good in that central midfield. It's better as a defensive midfielder, but we already have Brookwill. Brookwill will probably play more, so it will. I saw as well, which is bizarre, both Hatfield and Alex Ray Harvey, it says that those two are like our worst center midfielder, I believe they have two stars or whatever. And you have seen here Hatfield, he is like created every single chance even, so it's like, why should I sell him then? And it's, I believe he did most assists, both seasons here. Brookwell, uh, can you win back that ball against Murray Day? There, Burke. Avon. Brookwell. With a through ball there. Unfortunately, it doesn't go forward. Hatfield. Hatfield with a throw or with a cross in. And Higgins scored the first goal of the season for Geisley. That's very nice. So it's it's just annoying. Why why does hat feel? I can't even show you here. I'm just it's just frustrating. Why do you say? Okay. Fair enough. He's going down on some rating, but still. Uh, technique passing first touch. Okay, crosses only four. <laughs> still imagine to put in a cross, but work rate, uh, teamwork. Determination, I mean, and there, just say there is a decent player for Vanarama uh, North. I don't understand it. His play is also, I feel like at least he's one of those players that actually played in Vanarama National, so he has experience from that. Maybe not that many seasons, but at least, at least two seasons there, so it's like. Very weird, <laughs> so to say. Tom Elliott, Brookwill. Brookwill, I feel like I've done decently defense. Oh, against. And again, it was Hatfield. Hatfield, he's our main creator. I mean, why should we just let him go then? Almost, we actually have a new uh, assistant manager. But <laughs> I'm just. And I believe even my old, what do you call it, my old, uh, I just want to speed up here so we will be able to go through. But maybe it's just too many chances in the middle. Winfield, ooh, Tom Elliot. Because we are almost, I want to, I'm sorry, the, the episode has been just so really long. Hatchfield, Huggins. Hatchfield is a little bit tired. So probably going to bring him out in the last year. Last quarter for uh, Hudson. Hudson is off to all a great his great crosses which you could see there. Not really oh no. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> which unfortunately Hatfield doesn't have, but <laughs> as you can see Man of the match, <laughs> probably m most important player for for Geisley, or at least my Geisley. It might, it might not. I believe he's been a little bit in and out of the team in real life. So, but but he's still a viable player, whatever to say. So, <sighs> Nittenberg, and that isn't great. I feel like that was. Uh, 
goalkeeping mistake. Sorry to say it, but I feel like that was a goalkeeping mistake, which is annoying. Because we started that good. It's again the def I guess the defense has been better here though. But it's still not good enough. If, we, if they get one chance and they score on that chance. Daesh, can we... Hudson, at least trying here to score a winning goal. Because this is still at home against a newcomer team. So we should be able to at least... Uh, we should be able to win this all day, every day. Leeburn. Can you go for it? Ooh! The, uh, I mean, the goalkeeper has not been bad, so he has sort of saved them here. We go super offensive here in the end just to try to at least get something. Leeburn. Brookwell. Oh, that was near again. Corner. Tom Elliott. Avon. Oof. I always feel like the first match is always difficult. I don't know. It doesn't even matter which team you meet. It's just really, really nervous. So yeah, thank you for watching even if it was a anticlimactical match. Let's say that. And it might, this season might as well be a very anticlimactic. Well, we're probably going to finish two places above last season. But I guess we will see. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And I see you soon again. So bye.